Hey guys, today we are going to be exploring Otter's button group block, and as a result, we are going to build this Neu Brutalism styled button. So let's begin. From the WordPress editor, I'm going to click on this plus icon to create a new block. Let's select button group. And now we have a button that we can add some text to. So I'm going to click on it and type download PDF. Okay, so we can also click anywhere on the block and click on the plus icon to create another button. So now I can type in learn more, for example, and this one could be used as a secondary button. Now, if I click on the list view icon at the top, we can see the structure of the button group. So we have two buttons within this group. We can also style them individually. So for example, I can give this one a primary style and this is already set by the theme. And this learn more button could be outlined to serve as a secondary button, for example. So we are just gonna be working with one button for this example. So I'm gonna remove this learn more button. Let's use the list view menu instead. Remove button, okay. Let's start styling this button. So just make sure it's selected, then move over to the block settings on the right hand side. And we are gonna begin by customizing the button link color. We can use this color picker to select a custom color like this red or maybe black. And you can also set a hover color. So I'm just gonna click on the hover tab. And now I can use the color picker to select a hover color. So let's use white for this example. So now the text turns white when we hover. We are not gonna be using this for the style that we are going for. So I'm gonna click on this Claire button to remove this hover style. So now we can go ahead and switch back to normal. Now we can move down to the next option where we can set our button's background color. So let's go ahead and access the color picker. And once again, we can go ahead and choose a custom color or we can select a preset color at the bottom. You also have the option to use a gradient. So here we have a list of beautiful gradient presets to choose from. You can also adjust how the colors are blended by clicking and dragging on one of those handles. If you want to add another handle, just click on any blank space within this area and select your color. And the next option lets you select your gradient type. And the only two options we have here are linear and radial. The linear option is the only one that lets you adjust the gradient angle. You just need to move this knob to adjust the angle. So now I'm going to clear this gradient. And let's select a solid color instead. Let's use the color picker to choose some sort of uh, blue or green color. So I'm gonna move this use slider more towards the blue side and we can try this color, okay. Now we need to add a border to our button. So let's expand the border and box shadow tab. And the first thing we're gonna do is select a border color. So let's make this pure black. I'm gonna move the slider all the way to the bottom corner. So now I can adjust the border width. So we don't wanna make this border too wide, we can use a value of about two. We can also adjust the border radius. If you want a round button, you can increase the border radius. If you want a less rounded button or a square, you need to decrease it to zero. I'm gonna keep it as zero to have a nice sharp edge. Next, we can adjust the box shadow settings. Let's first define a shadow color. So let's make this black and we're using pure black for maximum contrast. Let's also set the overlay opacity to 100. Let's decrease the blur to zero. The spread will also be zero, so move the slider all the way to the left. Okay, that looks good so far. Now we can set the horizontal value, so let's make this about two or maybe four. And now for vertical, wait, our spread changed to minus 100. Let's make this zero again. And now we can adjust our vertical shadow settings and we can set this to about four. Okay, so I think this looks good. It's not overly dramatic, but the effect is definitely there. Now there's this blurred shadow that I saw when we hovered. Um, let me close this and we can hover over the button one more time. Okay, so here we have a blurred shadow that we need to remove. So under border and box shadow settings, I'm gonna click on the hover tab. And now we can scroll down to adjust the shadow settings. Let's go ahead and change the blur value from five to zero. And now the blurred shadow should be gone. We could have also cleared the hover settings, but I'm keeping them just in case I want a slightly different hover effect, like a slightly wider shadow. So now we can move down to the icon settings. Under icon position, let's choose left. And now we can select an icon library. Now we can use the icon picker to find a download icon. So let's type in download in the search field. Let's use this down arrow. All right, so now we have an icon in our button. We are done configuring our block settings. And if you need to, you can add some custom CSS. Or maybe you can adjust visibility conditions, animations, or advanced settings. We are gonna leave these out for this example. Let's go ahead and add a link to our button. So we are gonna paste a PDF URL in this field. So let's open our dashboard in a new tab. Now let's click on media. And let's select our PDF. 
Now, all we need to do is click on copy URL to clipboard on the right hand side. We have copied the link. So let's go back to our button. And now we can go ahead and click on the link icon one more time. And let's paste our link. Now you can click on this icon or press enter. So now that we have added our button, we can either publish it or we can preview it in a new tab first. Let's click on preview in a new tab. And here we have our button. We can also see our hover state. And if we click on it, we can see our PDF, which is blank because this is just a test. And as always, once you are done with your preview, you can go ahead and click on the publish button twice. So now you know how to work with the button group block in order. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.